Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Fantasy Maiden's Odd Hideout. Previously, we showed the first ending of the game, which was a bad ending. Now we're off to the both true and normal ending routes to finish this game once and for all. Well, let's get this over with. We'll start with the top one and work our way down. We'll go with the whatever option. Watch this be the true end right here. I don't know is the right one. I don't know. Just what should I do? Just what is the right choice? And what will turn out to be a mistake? It could be the right one. It could be one of those the other two options are the wrong choices, and I don't know leads to me thinking of a better choice. A kind of win-win scenario kind of thing. Or it could just be end of me dying, but you know. Damn it. Just why do I have to think about this? It would have all been better if I weren't born into this family. Because then... What if I weren't born into this family? I wanted to become a strong, fine person. Since I'm a hunter who protects everyone. Since that was destiny that signed it for me all the way back then. Then, was that something I didn't decide for myself? If I weren't born into this family, if I weren't a hunter, then what the heck would I have been? This could be the right one. It could be rejecting his hunter thing. <laughs> No good. Right, right. I guess I should tend to the weapon. But tomorrow... Tomorrow's... The gun. Their guns are different from the ordinary ones. That's right, after all. Their guns are not for animals this time, but for Anji. They'll surely point their guns towards me as well. That person would certainly do so without hesitation. Cynthia? Cynthia. Hey, Bernd. I suppose you're afraid of tomorrow, aren't you? You feel like abandoning everything. Just abandoning everything, don't you? It's a very redundant sentence, Cynthia. I know. You're a weakling, after all, aren't you? Just rub it in, huh? Despite feeling lost almost all the time. So scared. So unbearably scared. You've been trying to convince yourself that you're strong, haven't you? It's not as if I'm scared. So you intend to talk back like that? Of course. Why wouldn't I? There's no way anybody would seriously think that it's alright to just die. Cynthia kind of, uh, experienced that on a certain level. Maybe a little too soon, Burn. Then, why not just give up? don't wanna. This could have been the right choice. I'm kind of seeing it now. Yes. Of course I'm scared. My hands are shaking. I don't like pain. And I'm always thinking of how wonderful it'd be if it all went so well so easily. Because the other two choices might have been the wrong ones in the sense that getting stronger is his childhood thinking process, and it's kind of flawed. And I want to protect her is what he's been doing, but it hasn't been working out. 
So for him to find inner strength, he has to have doubts and then reach out spiritually. Um, you know, all that mumbo jumbo stuff. Uh, but a lot of times that actually is the case in situations like this. So we'll see. But I don't want to just quit any more than I already have. I don't really know if I'm making the right choice or not, but... But at the very least, I don't want to give up and just pull back like this. And besides... Ever since that time, Aji was crying. I just wanted no more of it. At the very least, I just don't want to see Anji crying anymore. Which is why... Which is why... That's right. Whether Anji is a vampire or whatever, I've seen that girl cry like that just so many times. I see. I understand. That's great. Please don't turn like all blood eye on me. Okay, fine. Whew! Burn? I have something to ask of you. You have chosen correctly. I will give you my power. The girl who has been crying all alone all this time. Anji, please save her for me. Because my voice can't reach her. Burn, I really hate you. I hate you too, ghost person. What was that all about, all of a sudden? Because I don't really want to have to ask you for anything. But there is no one else who can save Anji anymore. It would have all been better if I was able to remain alive. Yeah, I know. Don't rub it in. Cynthia. It annoys me saying this, but... In truth? As for me, you see... I also sometimes think that'd be great if you had lived. Hmm. But there's also benefits in having become a ghost, you see. Oh. How so? Because now I don't have to become a bride to someone like you. What? It's not enough, even if I had such intention to begin with. Huh. You're just like always, Cynthia. But... I feel relieved somehow. I'm not saying farewell. Because I will always be waiting for you by Anji's side. Anji, surely believe you. That's right. I want to become stronger. That's how I felt, in all my efforts all this time, right? And besides, there's no way I can back out now that I've come this far. I can't protect Anji, and I'd just be a weakling. scared. And that's right. There's no time. I have no spare time to puzzle over this. Now, if I can do something to prepare for tomorrow. Eleven. That's right. I guess I should tend to this again.
Hello, Cynthia. Let's see. The first one had a regular Cynthia. The second ending has a bloody Cynthia. And this one has an angry Cynthia. Who's not on blood, though. Weakling. What? What now? Idiot. Weakling. I hate you. I know. Of that already. That's why I'm trying so hard. Back off, Cynthia. That's not what I meant. No, that wasn't it at all. You don't know anything. Anji. Anji, you see, all this time. You idiot. What's not it? Just what else are you telling me to do? Wait, wait. I still have something to talk about. What was that now? Just saying all that and running off like that. I already know. I'm a weakling in everything. That's why I'm trying to become stronger. To grow up and become stronger. It was what it, I wanted to again. Your Force Ghost powers have inspired me. I feel strength growing inside. It's not just false pretenses created by childhood dreams. Oh, I'm playing her again. This is the final scene. Alright, this is a save I made for this ending, so... Let's go out and see what happens. Now, this is a little different. Wasn't our... Wasn't Burn like collapsed dead down there before? Maybe that's the other ending of the Protect ending. This is the... Uh, good ending where he, she doesn't just outright suck his blood and murder him. I'm free! Free at last! What a wonderful world! Oh. Someone shot me. Huh? This place? No, I thought someone was shooting at me, but I guess not. This is strange. No matter how far I walk and walk, the scenery still doesn't change. Do these vampire hunters have control of reality marbles, or I'm just freaking out because I'm exposed to the moon? Oh yeah. Here we go. Probably has like a trigger right there. Hi everyone. I'm a vampire. Very nice to meet you all. S sir uh, Why are you pointing your guns at me? And why shoot why are you all I, I didn't do anything? I don't think it works like that. We don't borrow appearances. Maybe you should just go back and learn some tolerance, you filthy human. Whoops. Burr! Run away, Anji! What? Why is this happening to me? What is all this about vampires? Just when I thought I was finally able to leave that house, or something like this. No. Step aside. Absolutely not. Listen. Step aside. If you don't, even you will. And shoot already. I know this already, see. You've always been like that, father. I'm prepared to meet whatever will happen to me in my defiance. Anji. You understand now, right? They're for real. Get away, quick, or else you'll die. 
Start running. That's not running, that's a casual stroll. Make backup save to get to some kind of game over somewhere. Cynthia. Anji. Now you've started to realize that everything you've seen before now was all a fantasy. Cynthia? What are you saying? You've actually heard it all this time, right? That voice calling you. Ring a ring of roses. Oh, the singing song, the uh. They all fall down. This is probably what it looked like from her perspective without the uh, hallucination over it. The book. Some kind of poem. No, you, re you really can't, but, uh, you know. Who is she talking to? Is she talking to herself? This is how she made the fairies in her mind. What's the ginger cookie hallucination? Burned. This, this actually makes sense, because this health bar is a gingerbread man cookie. Is Burr like singing this, maybe? And then she's kind of. Identified with that? Yeah, that's kind of a cool detail. The game has a slow pace, but when it works, it works. But other times, it, you know, drags. It's a somewhat sad song, isn't it? I don't quite know what it means, but... The father said that it was a song that reminds of the past. Reminds of the past, huh? What else can I highlight? Chicken? Can I talk to the chicken and find out what that means? No. Before I check the calendar, I'm gonna check the southern... Oh, there is no southern room. Ha! Huh. Mother. He died in just one week? Solomon Grundy seems to have been a rushed person, wasn't he? That's right. He died in one week. But though one week may seem short, it's longer than you think. Just like life. Hmm? What would you do, Anji, if your life lasted only one week? I don't want that at all. Because then I'll have only one Sunday dessert time, right? And I'd be able to play with Burr for only a little. Playing more like sucking his blood, but you know. It could be Cynthia talking to her. Uh, she... Why? It all comes tumbling down. My fair lady. Aggressively normal. 
poker table is still there for some odd reason. Can't leave though. Anji, please wake up. That's when he was calling out to her when he was all vampire mode. Anji, what is it? That blood. Uh Mother, I, I, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's right. I, I, one year ago, I killed father and mother, and then all those children of the village. And on top of that, I killed my dear friend Cynthia. That's when I first realized my own crimes, but I, unable to bear the weight of my crimes, pretended it all never happened, and turned everything to fantasy. So she was the wolf. I'm such a weak little one. So much so, that I couldn't even accept what was going on with myself. Father, Mother, Cynthia, and everyone, I've taken away your futures. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anjay. Let's accept your repentance and atonement and forgive yourself. And then, with the signs of atonement you've gathered, Use the mirror of salvation on the destiny that you've been trapped in. And so, then, Anji, please don't cry like that. It'll be alright, surely. No one is criticizing you. And so, and so you see. I guess it was just laden blood coming out. But actually, a dick's D of all crimes. Cause he seemed like a nice guy, he didn't seem like he would raid the village and start sucking blood. This is a special rope, meant to be used for vampires. However much you struggle, it won't come off. Damn it. If only my part vampire blood had actually gave me cool powers, and not just weaknesses. This hurts. Damn it. Why is it always like this? Now I can't do anything like this. That's right. This is pretty much the same as that time, isn't it? The exact same as that time when Mother and Najee's parents died. Am I again unable to do anything, but just sit and watch yet again, just like that time? Is it because this is my destiny? Kick destiny to the curb. Please, please no. I don't, I don't want to go through that again. Everyone else, I'll say that this is the right thing. I guess it certainly is true. To kill vampires may just be the right thing to do. 
because Father has always been in favor of righteousness. But am I satisfied with that? In the first place, whoever decided that you need to do the right thing said also because it's the role of a hunter. If so, then I should just cast off this roll. If this is what I myself wish for, then it's alright to do the wrong thing, right? Without worrying over the small stuff, I should perhaps just go through with what I want to do, right? Yes, I suppose so. I want to see if I could change my destiny. Had to have your theme appear, didn't you? Well, not really appear. Y you. Oh my! What rude behavior to someone you've just met! Do people shoot guns at your village instead of giving salutations? You won't make me say I don't know you. You're that pureblood who attacked the village last year. What? Why are you here? Hanji oh, is... Hanji, you mean that girl, right? She seems to have extraordinary natural abilities. Despite being a half-vampire, she is still maintaining her sense of self. She fell into a dangerous condition along the way. But thanks to you, she somehow recovered, didn't she? Only you. I'll never forgive. Makes me want to just kill you right here. Don't be so edgy, young lad. So, you suppose you can kill a pure blood with an ordinary gun? Rather than dwell on something meaningless like that, I think I'd like to give you some advice. And what to do from here on, you see? What do you mean? It seems like in the end, now you have to see even me in a reasonable manner, don't you? How long do you intend to continue this vain struggle? You talk as if you know everything. Maybe the bad ends are canon and it's one of those multi-world things. He's like some kind of world-transporting vampire who's so powerful he's almost like a demigod. There's no meaning to this, even if you continue it. You won't get anything no matter how much hard work you do, and no one will even ever acknowledge you. You do not need to worry about Anji. I will take custody of her as my brethren. So then, what do you say? How about being reasonable and giving up now? I don't care if I don't get anything out of it. I don't care if there's no meaning behind this. I'm doing what I'm doing, simply because I want to. I want to see if I myself can believe in the path I've chosen. These lost for words, unable to move that one finger. To grow up and become stronger. That's right.
If I think about it, I've decided this for a long time already. To protect Anji. It doesn't matter if Anji is human or a vampire. If I can weather through this, I might just be able to be content with myself for once. You resemble how I was when I was young. Perhaps this may also be due to... blood. Well, I still do think that I was much wiser than you are, of course. Probably. Mr. Burned. How you use that blonde that you've been born with is up to you. Suave to the end, you bastard. Always have to be so dandy, don't you? Stupid sexy vampires. Need to go look for Hunchy. See, this is different from the true end. Because this room is very empty in comparison. Only the calendar is interactable. So since this one doesn't give any emotional healing, it just throws the harsh reality at her. Anji, please wake up.
Dialogue difference. See, the being the strong thing is all just fooling himself. He's not actually coming to terms with his personality. What? What if these guys? Cynthia! A bit red on you. They're coming after me. It's chased after it can accept his internal demons. Or Andres. Rather than accepting him. See, it's all symbolism! Jeez, be reasonable already. Anji? I'm telling you to stop defying the villagers. You're a hunter, right? Then you want to kill vampires. Anji, what are you saying? That would be... I want to say... You're quite a bother to me. Your existence is quite a bother to me. Despite not even being able to win against your father, unable to become a hunter, and without the mental strength for rise and defiance, you are just a burden following me like that. As for why the village wants to kill vampires, surely you know too, Burr. Do you want things to turn out the same as last year? I... I don't want to make people go through terrible experiences anymore than I already have. If you stay with me any longer, you'll also end up like Cynthia. If things will turn out like that, I'd rather you kill me already. Kill me here. Right now. Anji. Died. Anji, An Farewell, Burr. Farewell.
Andrzej. No, that was actually... A vampire, huh? The path I believe in, to the very end. Just wouldn't I ever stop being able to believe in myself? Anji, I... In order to save you... Unlike the bad end, this actually had credits to it, so it's not a true bad end, it's more of a normal end than a good end. Vampire escaped. I let her escape. I did this all in my own judgment. Despite being the son of a vampire hunter, I was still a child who did not understand anything. About what kind of beings vampires are, and how terrible they are. My sincerest apologies. Do you think you'll be forgiven? Just because you've apologized. The world is not so generous, you know. That's right. I do not think I will be forgiven. I just want to tell how I felt. She will perhaps not come near this village for some time. But five, ten years later, if she will ever appear here again. When that time comes, I will not let her escape. I will bring her down without fail, with my own hands. As a grown-up vampire hunter. The trust you lost won't come back right away, you know. You need to keep up that mental strength. And work harder than anyone else. Yes. I will do my best. That's enough. Lift your head. You've grown up, Burn. I guess so. This is a breadcrumb. Power was breadcrumbs. This way? Yeah. Then this way? No, that's the wrong way. Where are you, breadcrumbs? There's gotta be more of you. Oh, this, this is not a forest. That's an evil fairy. I see. So these guys are hunches. I thought we were just tracking someone through the forest, now we're in some weird psychological battle of evil fairies. Yeah, I'm gonna back up to this. Back off, fairies!
Do you roll pricks? Can't trust little guys with flappy little wings hacking all cheery. I don't want to be cheery with a lifestyle like that. It's all a lie. I'm getting slower by the minute. Stuff like weird oversight mosquitoes, combined with emotional burden. Cynthia, you're not Cynthia. 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 Yeah. Yes. It's fine. And so, come, Cynthia. I think by now, we should be able to make up. I really can't believe. Let's dig in. This is the villagers trying to convince each other. It's a pretty long climax. No! Coming after me. Please, no. Oh, the title screen. Ah, oh, yes. That's right. I guess I really am terrifying, aren't I? Even though I'm pretty much a monster now, the thought of losing my life is still frightful. I'm... thirsty. I want blood. Fresh blood. Burr. Burr's back looks so bright. I guess that he's definitely carrying the future on his back, isn't he? And like this, he'll surpass me, grow more and more into an adult, become an impressive hunter, and continue the progress far ahead of me. And then eventually, kill me. Yes, I guess that's right. 
that would indeed be for the best. After all, I'm a monster that needs to be killed. That would be assuredly be the happiest way to go. Enough already. Let's just stop thinking about it. This is, yes, a dessert house. Those bullets are, that's right, actually just lots of candy. A dream of those cheerful, fun, happy times. Everyone I was fond of. Nostalgic songs. Yes, that's right. Let's make it that way. Can hold force in the candy now? After all, it's easiest that way. This is not a forest. Playing detective is fun! Hoi 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 hoi. Shut up, crow. You're not the right crow, I remember. Huh? Cynthia? Hey, Cynthia, you... Please, don't go away. Cynthia? Cynthia! Burr? Hanshi. What are you just standing there for? Are you looking to die or something? Shatter this illusion. Burr. I... 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 I don't want to die. Yes. That's a spirit. Hey, Cynthia. Yes? A fire, huh? We're on the subject of vampire stories with cute dramatics and... Um, actually a lot more serious than this, a lot more horror than this. It also ended in a fire escaping main character's climax. I would recommend the anime Shiki. Um, very good, one of the best horror animes I've ever seen, actually. Highly recommended. And one of the best vampire stories I've ever seen. Just continue fleeing straight south. Whatever happens, go straight south, okay? Her? I will definitely help you out of this. They are really determined to kill this one vampire. Trying to bring the whole village down to this forest fire. Burr. He went off and acted as the vampire. No! Anji! You didn't do anything but crush people's hearts, you bastards. Hmm. 
Maybe D is doing it too. No, just burn. This is... insane. Why? Just what is this? Why did this have to... Hey, Burr, is this really what you wanted? Did you think that if you could sacrifice just yourself, then all will be saved? This is all a mistake. And that's what I've always thought. Why would you do something like this? What have I all this time? There's a lot of blood coming out. Like this, he'll die. A bear will die. Hey, hey now! S stop! Stop it already! Please, don't go away anywhere. I'm scared. I'm scared of being alone. The bullets all penetrated, didn't they? I'm sorry. Anji? So how does being a quarter vampire probably be turned into a full vampire work? Just add extra blood? Huh? Um, I... Alright. The hunters... Are not here? Anji... You're not hurt. Ah oh, yes. That's right, I... I see. Anji, are you crying? I'm not crying at all, you idiot. You big baka. Anji, it's alright to cry. But please don't cry all by yourself anymore. It's alright, because I'm coming along. I'm not going anywhere. Because whatever happens, I'll protect you, Hanji. Yeah. I see. So I've become a quarter, huh? Yes. I see. <laughs> That's right. I guess there was always that method. With this now, it's all fine, certainly. Anji.
Eh? How romantic. I like to have some of the vampire's blood. With that, I'll be able to be more perfect. That... that won't do. Don't you know what risk there is? If you were to lose your sense of self... You'll be fine. I'm a dampier, after all. There's no way a vampire's blood wouldn't be compatible. Let's do halves. This is a great first date. I'm really glad they're going out together. Okay then. Are you okay? Is it painful? I'm okay. It's a bit strange, but it feels just right. As if it's been like this since I was born. I see. Thread Moon. Wicked, isn't it? Because of me, you've become ill-fated. And from here on, you won't be able to live or die like normal. You will now suffer for eternity. Are you truly fine with that? It's wicked, maybe. It sure is wicked. Hmm. But I think this moon is beautiful. The path it shines is a little dark, but it's mysterious and special. And besides, it somehow feels interesting, doesn't it? I regret nothing. What's with that attitude? That's quite a shameless thing for you to say, Burr. <laughs> Now that's terrible of you. Hey, did you all forget about your lovable ghost sidekick? Cynthia! What now, Cynthia? Go to peace already. No, don't wanna. Now I'll always be by Anji's side. Really now, Cynthia, you... Then, Cynthia, best regards from here on, okay? She still hates me, probably. Forever. So it turns out that choice was the right one. Huh. I was right. And then they went on cool adventures together. Actually, no, they live in the modern world, apparently. And they're just watching the movie eating blood popcorn. Um, probably not a movie, actually. Probably the theater at D plays that. What's that Sunday school? The 
always have to be a fake bastard, don't you? Thanks, you're really uplifting. I'm having a hard time determining if D was the one who attacked. Because it said a pure blood attacked. But they seem to think the pure blood killed uh, her parents, which they don't. It was Anche that killed uh, her parents and friends and children and everyone. So it's possible D didn't attack, and possibly he just visited, made Anje a vampire, then like saw what happened. And it was like, well, it's up to you now. Don't murder everyone. And then you know. Nice hobby. No wait, you can not be eating desserts. Very convenient. I like strawberries. I really like that term. Strawberry blonde. It sounds like tasty. Always like this. Damn. Burns profile. Specialty is cooking, cleaning, and carpenting. Be a good husband, though. That's also not a dessert. Shifty eyes to the left. Well, oh, same way. Hobby is also eating desserts. Please tell me us. Sophia crying in the corner.
Alright, just listen to the conversation. I think that's it for this corner. Alright, here's the one I had. Have vampires who lost their sense of self. Yeah, I didn't think he would do it. Seems kind of low class. So it's a whole village, I think, or a good prescription to send by vampires. It could just be like genes coming up, a vampire gene. Perhaps there might even be one near you. Perhaps the person playing this game. Of course, I was just kidding. Shut up, Dracula. Twelve times, that stupid key. Was he real, man? So that's it for Fantasy Maiden's Odd Hideout. A quite long game, I was really surprised. So I thought this game was going to be considerably shorter due to its nature, but it ended up being quite long. Probably too long. I think it has real bad pacing issues. And there was a lot of potential there with its kind of double-sided vision, the two routes, the unreliable narrator stuff. That's all cool, but it just kind of gets boring after certain points, and, and then it kind of picks up, and then it kind of gets boring again, and it just a couple hours too long of a game. But the plot concept and the gimmick is solid enough for this type of game, and I could see why it would win awards. Because it's definitely unique enough, it's not trying to be Ooga Booga Wooga, you know, jump scare kind of RPG maker game, and it's not trying to be an actual RPG, and it's not relying on a kind of gore slasher plot. It's trying to write, essentially, and it's... Even with the pacing issues, it does go for a lot of effort, and it has all of its own sprites and art and music, which is another level. So I can see why it, you know, received praise. I'm not gonna really go over the plot, that's kind of been explained in the game pretty well. The only vague person is D. Which I still say is probably Dracula. I know some people say D stands for Dampir, but... No, because he is... He is essentially Dracula, he's pure-blooded vampire. And I know a lot of people make allusions to Vampire Hunter D, who is half vampire, but you have to remember that. Vampire Hunter D... D specifically is implied to be a descendant or a son of Dracula. So you can argue that even his name D is a reference to Dracula, not just him being a Dampier or anything. It works kind of as a double pun, but since D himself is probably Dracula, in this case, he's Dracula. That, that pretty much sells it. Dracula is also commonly paired with a human woman, usually one that he legitimately loves, sometimes in a mixed Alucard and some variations. Uh, other variations, he just loves her, kind of like Ramp Stroker's variation. But D, you know, obviously loved a human woman and made this village, giving this birth to the people who would eventually become Burns, Hunter Group and whatnot. And, like I said, classic vampire plot. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching me play Fantasy Maiden's Odd Hideout. 
I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.